So, I basically want to talk about the notion that goths should just be normal. And, of course, goths pretending to be normal. And by pretending, I don't mean like, oh yeah, I'm not going to be normal. No question. I mean, goths dressing in a more normal, mainstream fashion to appear normal to outside eyes. <laughs> I'm also talking about goths that just don't tell anybody about their gothy interests. That sort of stuff. But I'm more so talking about the people that go, you should just be normal. Just be normal. You should just be normal. You don't need to dress that way. You don't need to be a goth. You don't need to listen to that music. My first response to that always is, well, nobody needs to do anything other than fucking eat, sleep, and piss. So you don't need to talk. You also don't need to wear clothing if you don't want to. <laughs> you were just simply raised to tell you have to wear clothing. If we were all raised not being told we had to wear clothing, nobody would wear fucking clothing. Especially pants. Nobody would wear pants if we weren't raised knowing that we had to wear clothing. <laughs> I know hundreds of people who just run around screaming naked in other people's yards. I know hundreds of people who would do that if they could. So, it's like, no, no. The only reason people wear clothes is because society has basically deemed that we must because it's wrong to run around naked. That's the only reason we wear clothes to begin with. So technically, we don't need to wear clothing, period, really. Except during the cold months, because, you know, then you need a jacket so you don't die of hypothermia and shit. <laughs> but clothing is not a necessity to live for the most part, so... Really, clothing at all isn't necessary, so what's your freaking point? But my other thing is kind of is like, well, shut your fucking face. <laughs> you don't need to be talking to me. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> and even if I was talking to you, this is unsolicited commenting on my appearance. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Talk to the tit. It is just like, no, 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 no. And I'll always like... Uh, the way we dress is usually part of who we are as a person. Like, yeah, sure, there are goths out there who are completely okay with not dressing in a goth fashion, and are completely fine with not looking goth to the nines every single day. There are lots of goths who are completely okay with that. And that's not a problem. The only problem I have with goths who dress mainstream is when they're dressing mainstream because they don't have an option, or because they believe that's the only way anyone will ever like them. That's just shitty. <laughs> if your friends would hate you because you dressed goth, they're not your friends to begin with. So you shouldn't fucking care what they think. I mean, to a job interview is one thing. Because, you know, you need a job to get by because y'all need money. <laughs> I need money. We all need money. So it's one thing to tone down the way you dress and dress more normal because you're going to a job interview or because you're going to your job. But it's still fucking shitty. And the fact that society, in society, you have to dress more mainstream or normal have more mainstream appearance to you, including your hair, eyes, shit like that, just to get a fucking job and to live is fucking pathetic and screwed up, and it's one of the problems in the world. It's also the reason why um, people don't like Starbucks. Like, here, they actually got chased out of a university. Like, nobody would buy from there, and people were fucking picketing the Starbucks because they refused to hire people with colored hair. Like, that's fucking awesome. It's the same thing with tattoos. It's like, no. <laughs> The only reason you should not hire somebody is because they can't physically do the job or because they're not qualified educational-wise to do the job. It should have nothing to do with their hair color, skin color, clothing, religion, that shit. No, no, that shit should not fucking matter. You shouldn't even consider it. I don't give a shit if you personally don't like goths. It should not be a factor. At all. Ever. Period. Fuck you. <laughs> and... To go further with the, you should just be normal. When people say that, typically they're only referring to the fashion. They're usually like, well, just dress normally. Then people won't shit on you for your weird looks. And then it's just like, but no. The way I look is part of who I am as a person. Most goths, especially the goths who do dress overtly and excessively goth the fuck up, like me, <laughs> are horrendously uncomfortable in normal clothing. Like, if you were to throw a fucking lime green t-shirt on me, pair of blue jeans, blonde wig, or dyed my hair blonde, or whatever, and did the typical bimbo makeup shit, I would immediately go, nope, nope, I look fucking horrendous. And this is horrendously uncomfortable. 
Because it would be. For me, that would just be like the fucking worst thing and I'd be freaking miserable. I would be completely unhappy. And that's part of the reason why I picked a job where there is no fucking dress code. I can wear what I want. I can do my hair however the fuck I want. Basically, when I go to work, I look like this. <laughs> well, okay. Usually I'm wearing my pajamas to work, but that's besides the point. <laughs> yes, I, I do actually wear my PJs to, to work. But from here up, I look exactly like this. Because I don't wear jewelry to my work because I'm not risking breaking that shit or losing that shit or someone stealing that shit. Oh, you. So it's just, it's like, no, I would be horrendously uncomfortable in that shit. And it would make me sad. <laughs> And mad? It'd make me very mad. Because I get completely pissed off when people try to control the way I dress. Like, seriously, if you try to control the way I dress or tell me that I have to go change my pants, I have to go change my shirt, I have to go change my hair or my makeup or some shit, I will be perpetually mad at you for the rest of the day and I will probably, like, put cinnamon powder, a shit ton of fucking cinnamon powder in your drink. And then I will cover your food in ghost peppers. Just to be a dick. Because <laughs> I'm mad at you. <laughs> and then I will purposefully have my bath as hot as possible before you have your shower so that you have a fucking cold ass shower. I've done this multiple times to my dad because he's a prick. Yeah. So and I know a lot of people like that. Like, like I personally will not tolerate people trying to control my way I dress. Period. At all. No, fuck you. I will dress how I want. Um... But I've been lucky. I don't generally get anyone controlling my clothing. My dad's the only one that tries, so... <laughs> and the only time he's even remotely successfully gotten me to change my clothing was when I was trying to wear a somewhat fetishy booty short-ish outfit to my grandma's birthday party. <laughs> I got carried away getting dressed up that day. So basically I just changed my shorts. And yeah, I was pissed off for the rest of the day and I purposefully ordered an expensive meal just to cost him extra money. And I did make him have a cold shower. And I had to make him supper that night, and yeah, I put cinnamon powder in it. But he hates cinnamon, so it worked. <laughs> um, enough about that, but anyway. If you are one of those people, yes, Leila, I see you, my pretty. Mm -hmm. Leila's down here. She's a cute bean. But anyway, if you are one of those people who's like, oh, you should just be normal, you should just dress normal. First off, why don't you just be a goth? Why don't you just dress broth? <laughs> It's the exact same answer for the most part. It's because I don't like it, I'm not comfortable in it. And if you're not expected to look like me, why should I be expected to look like you? That, 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 that's kind of the gist of it. And then, to go on with goths who dress in a mainstream, normal fashion, because they don't have a choice, it all depends on why you feel you don't have a choice. If you feel you don't have a choice because you don't think your friends will accept you, then you have shitty friends, get new ones, and screw their opinion. Or you might just be completely wrong, and they might be totally fine with it, and they might completely accept it, and you're just being a little bit paranoid. <laughs> so with that. Now, if it's because you're, you know, under the age, and you live with your parents, and your school doesn't allow it, then there really isn't much you can do. You're basically stuck with it till you grow up, but when you grow up, don't think that the world will shit on you just because you look different. I mean, it, it will shit on you, depending on where you live, but don't give a flying fuck. Be you, just the way you want to, dress in your fucking normal, which for a goth, is goth. <laughs> like, that that's the other point, is this is my normal. You asking me to dress normal is this, but I understand that what they're saying is, no, dress mainstream, and that's not fucking gonna happen. So, yeah. yeah. Yes, Leila. Pretty cute. So, yeah. Don't, don't try to control what other people wear as long as what other people wearing are wearing is not actually harming people. Like, I can understand having restrictions like, hey, don't wear a giant spiked boots to a disturbed concert. Well, yeah, no fucking shit. Who the fuck's wearing spiked boots to disturb concerts? So that that kind of thing, fine. But that you should just dress normal? No, no, no. Good, go fuck yourself. Multiple times with a screwdriver. Don't actually do that. Cause I don't want to get charged with like encouraging suicide or some shit. <laughs> 